Mm. Starting to get a little chilly out here. Good evening, folks. I'm just uh, concluding my walk for the night. Starting to get a little chilly. And um, I'm going to head in because the wildlife will be out in the short. But let's talk first. Let's have a quick talk. And this talk is mostly going to be geared towards psychological understanding. You know, because it's starting to come to that lately. Now, I'm saying that because, you know, I've noticed that a lot of people I deal with and just not even people that I'm, you know, doing business with or just, you know, just people that I'm encountering just in my day to day anywhere, you know. Or people that I, I know somewhat, right? You know, people that you've seen more than once. A lot of these people are suffering. Now, when I look at it a little bit further, I think that it has something to do with multiple personality disorders. Now, that's a serious thing. I'm not making fun of that. But what I'm saying is, is that we have a lot of people who may not know that they suffer from some form of a multiple personality complex or something. Because either it's that or you're just you're just the very duplicitous people. If I know you and I'm somewhat familiar with you and I see you on the street somewhere and we know each other, right? Then I expect a formal greeting, but not even necessarily ceremonious. It just it can just be a simple hey and, and keep it moving. And that's what normal people do. But bipolar people, well, because that's, that's what it is. It's, it's part of that, too. You people, because someone told me that they were, and, you know, really what happened was I confronted them about something they were doing, and they told me that. So I don't know if that was an excuse, but, you know, we, we need to get some treatment for people. We need to start coming up with some programs, and that's really the main thing I want to really stress today. Now, I may talk about other things, but, in this situation, there's a lot of people that are going through this type of thing. It's nothing to make fun of, but I just noticed that. It has to be that. Or either you're severely duplicitous. Now, for the people who are not really clinically uh, having a clinical, a clinical condition or something, those people who are severely duplicitous, it's all bad behavior. Because when the day is done, a dysfunctional mind, a troubled mind, who's willing to harm another person is the problem. Doesn't really matter if they need treatment. Doesn't really matter if they have a philosophy about harming us, whatever. And that's why I was saying before when I was talking about these sociopaths and I was saying, you know, we don't really care about, you know, how you feel about who you are relative to society. We don't, we're not going to ask you any questions about, you know, why you, you need to stop or can you stop or, you know, do you want help? We, we, we don't ask those questions because when we realize that you're a problem and a threat to the better society at large, then, then, then that's when we have to do something. And we should ship you off somewhere. I, I keep saying this, but, you know, I've seen people that, that, you know, that I know, and I'm not necessarily friends because I, I have a small circle of friends, and that's for that reason because I can't handle the type of person I am, I can't really handle inconsistent behavior. Especially when it comes to friendship and stuff like that. You know, I have to be able to trust you if you're coming in my home or, you know, if I'm, you know, we're doing business or anything. I have to trust you because I've seen in many, many, many cases where people let me down and show me their, 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 their lesser uh, aspects of themselves, right? And I hate seeing it because I want everybody to be, not not kumbaya, but at least be on a level where they're trying to be better. And that when I say that, I only mean from a context, from a standpoint of 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 them just doing something for themselves as far as not affecting other people. If you're the type of person who's a boisterous, loud, rude, and disrespectful person, then 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 just be that in the spaces that 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 don't make someone else comfortable. Be it with your friends or your groups. But what happens is you guys come out into the, the bigger world and you encounter people that have values and, and have certain characteristics that you don't have. And that's where the conflict begins. 
because what you do is you try to impose yourselves on these people. Now, if they're if they're smart and if they're, you know, if they're respect respectable, they're not going to necessarily bother you, because see, you're bothering other people. That's what makes you the narcissist. That's what makes you the pest, right? The asshole. Ain't a retentive people. And you do things, but but you know, really. Is, is there something going on with a multiple personality thing when I'm seeing these people? Because, you know, these, you know, I see people just, I mean, literally I've seen someone change. At a, I was I was somewhere, a group of people, and I saw someone literally change up as they went to each person. They literally changed through each person. So literally they were this person, then they talked to someone else, and they were that person. And people who will, you know, be anything you want them to be, they're selling you something. You have to look at people and vet them in such a way that, you know, for, for, your, for the, the betterment of you, for the safety of you. Because you're going to be harmed. You, wanna be, you, you don't want to be dealing with this stuff. And it happens like that. But I noticed that, you know, I'm not going to really, you know, it's starting to get cold, man. I'm not going to stay out here too long. But I wanted to really get you guys, if you're doing this stuff, if you're one of these people, realize that, you're not a good person. To people that are worth something, they think you're shit bags. They really do. Because you the way you act and behave is just not becoming of someone, you know, who who's a respectable person. You can't expect people to like you if you're an asshole. I mean, really. And some of you like to be assholes, but you know, deal with yourselves. Look in the mirror, try to focus on that. For those people who are severely duplicitous, because I don't like two-faced people, and that's and that's what I'm I'm looking at. So when I so when I treat you in a stuck-up fashion, it's not that I'm stuck up. I just I just you're just not real. I don't have time for that. You know what I mean? So yeah, we need to you know look into this thing, this psychological troubling thing about people where they either have they either surrounded by a lot of people who are dysfunctional and it's like a normal behavior because I feel like I'm you know I feel like I'm the only person around sometimes when 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 like myself when I'm around these types of people you know so look in the mirror if you're one of these people who are disrespectful and you know and then one minute you're someone's friend don't expect them to like you when you're not giving them consistent behavior. Because that makes you look bad. Really. And if you don't understand it, then that's the problem. Hello, bad behavior, folks. But I like to love knowing who I'm dealing with. At any given time, at all times. Like, share the videos, and subscribe. Y'all have a good night. And just think about that. Look in the mirror. Focus. Focus. Good night.